just zoom past it. How cool is that? The three, the royal family, have finally rejoined. And I'm sure you're all happy to know that they are safe. Look at Osana. He's almost exactly the same height as his mother now. He's growing every single day. They are moving very quickly. And uh, they are going north. So I don't know how long we're going to be able to stick with them until they either... Well, Karula either takes them to a kill, which she may have done, because she's been hanging around in this area. She's been very, very busy. Let's jump in front. I think Andrew's giving us a shot. Oh, no. He's jumping in front. We'll get the next one. And um, it's very... Well, maybe she just made a kill around here, or we've seen it before where she's taken her cubs all the way into Biffle's Hook. So that's not unusual, too. And they travel such a quick distance. But we'll try and squeeze in front of Andrew now. And uh, actually, we'll try and get in front. I think if there's an opportunity to, we'll definitely try and have a look. Cool. So we'll just watch them from here until they disappear, and then we shall jump in front. Little Shongololo at the back. Hello, beautiful girl. Playing with the grass as she goes by. She can't resist herself, can she? Right, and there they go. Let's jump. Let's take our turn. Have a quick look here. Thanks, Andrew. Hey, Brad. Well done, hey? We're going to pull off the road as well, just so and Andrew can see. It's always difficult when they are moving down a road like this. So you've got to try and help. And that's why I'd like to get in front of them so that Andrew can have the whole sighting from the back and we can come in from the front and we'll just play reverse. Let me pull off down here. Hello guys, all that beautifully in a row. There we go, it's good to see Hosanna also doing a bit of grooming as he goes along. And now Karula, they're all copying each other. Come on Shungile, you can't fall out, you've got to do a bit of grooming too. But look how quickly they're going. It's almost impossible to try and keep up with them. And it's a pity it's so dense here, otherwise I would have shot through this little drainage system and up the other side, and then we could have easily got in front. Let's keep our fingers crossed that Karul has made a kill somewhere around here. <gasps> They're having a drink. Okay, I'm going to pull off over here. And then Andrew can sneak in. There we go. How lovely is that? Thirsty cats. Very, very exciting day, I'm sure, for Hosanna and Shongile having interactions with them. Um, <coughs> Excuse me, with the lions. I don't know how close they got, but I'm sure that it would have given them a bit of a fright. Thirsty, thirsty, thirsty. <laughs> they are so wonderful. Come on, guys. Keep a move on. No wasting time here. Off they go again. We've just got one lucky last leopard now who's... Come on, catch up. You're very slow, Hosanna. you got to keep moving, my friend. So what I'm going to do is they seem to be resting. We've got a much to do, so we can pull off right to the side. Maybe we'll poke our nose in here, and then he can... S no, no, that was a very... That was a, that was a lie. They sat down for a whole of about two seconds, and then they got up again. Come on, guys. There we go. Hey, Shongile. Oh, she looks a splitting image of her mother, isn't she? Oh, now Hassan is laying in the grass. I'm sure they're going to start pouncing on each other any moment. They normally can't resist playing with each other. Oh, but maybe today. Maybe today. Jeremiah wondering if they are in their teen years or if they are still considered cubs. I reckon they're reaching puberty now, I suppose you could say. Uh, if, uh, if you obviously compare them to humans and the human behaviors that we often give uh, animals. Um, yeah, I would say that they're reaching teenage. They're not quite cubs anymore. They're more juvenile. Sub and then in a couple of months, they'll sort of become sub-adults. Remember, they're just over a year now. You can see 
they're almost the size of their mother. Well, Hosanna is definitely. Shong Shongile has got a bit of growing to do. But they're at that point where they like to rebel. So when mom says, right, stay here, stay put, they sort of go, mm, we'll use that as a guideline, rather. Let's let Andrew and his crew come on past. We'll give them a chance again. We'll, we had a nice couple of sightings, and we'll just keep doing this. Wonderful. Everybody's very excited. All his guests are smiling from ear to ear. I'm sure they're very excited to see these leopards and especially such a famous family of leopards, the royal family. I think everybody, every single one of you that are watching the show would give your left arm, not really, not this, but to come out and see these cats in real life. I'm jealous. I, I wish I wish you could. I wish this was... I mean, it, and it's amazing that we get to do this live, so we, we're sharing this experience with you. But it's it's one thing watching, but if you do, if you ever get the chance to come on to Africa, please do. This is where it gets a little bit windy. Start, stop, start, stop. That's what we're going to be doing a lot of. Just going around the corner. Just gonna try and watch them here. So as these cats are disappearing around the corner, we're not gonna go anywhere. We're gonna follow them and see where they go. But sadly, I think it's almost time for Bushwalk to come home. So let's shoot across to Brent so he can say his goodbye.